Hi. Welcome. For someone who is immigrating to Canada, Canadian culture may be quite different from what they're accustomed to. Here are a few aspects of Canadian culture that might be surprising or interesting. Cultural diversity. Canada is known for its multiculturalism. In cities like Toronto and Vancouver, you'll find a wide range of ethnicities and cultures, creating a diverse and inclusive atmosphere. Politeness. Canadians are often stereotypically known for their politeness and friendliness. They say, sorry, a lot, even if it's not their fault, and please, and thank you, are commonly used. Hockey obsession. Hockey is a national obsession, but the intensity of fandom can vary. In Eastern Canada, hockey is still huge, but in Western Canada, it's practically a religion, especially in places like Alberta and Manitoba. The National Hockey League, NHL, is followed passionately, and ice hockey is deeply ingrained in Canadian culture. Regional food. Eastern Canada is known for dishes like poutine, butter tarts, and tortilla. Out west, you might encounter Pacific salmon, bannock, or Alberta beef as regional specialties. Tim Hortons is a Canadian coffee and fast food chain. You'll see Tim Hortons everywhere, and it's a beloved part of Canadian culture, known for its coffee and Timbits donut holes. Multilingualism. Canada has two official languages, English and French. In some parts, especially Quebec, French is predominant, so it's not unusual to see signs and hear conversations in French. While English and French are the official languages, Canada is incredibly diverse linguistically. In Western Canada, you may encounter more people who speak Punjabi, Tagalog, or Mandarin, reflecting the country's multiculturalism. Nature and wilderness. Canada boasts incredible natural beauty. From the Rocky Mountains in the west to the Atlantic coastline in the east, there's an abundance of wilderness and outdoor activities. Canada is known for its stunning natural beauty, but the landscapes vary greatly across the country. In the east, you might be used to rolling hills and forests, but in the west, you'll find towering mountains and expansive prairies. Indigenous influence. Indigenous culture and history have a significant presence in Canada. Out west, you'll find a greater awareness of and respect for indigenous traditions and communities. Time zones. Canada spans multiple time zones, and in the west, you might be surprised by the significant time difference from the east. British Columbia, for example, is three hours behind eastern Canada. Wildlife encounters. Depending on where you are, wildlife encounters can be more common. In the west, you're more likely to encounter bears, cougars, and elk, while in the east, moose and deer are more prevalent. Climate extremes. The climate can be dramatically different. Eastern Canada experiences cold winters, but the west can have milder winters with more precipitation and sometimes even rain in the dead of winter on the west coast. Healthcare. Canada has a publicly funded healthcare system, which is free at the point of use. This may be very different from healthcare systems in many eastern countries. Punctuality. Canadians generally value punctuality and being on time for appointments or social gatherings. Arriving late without a good reason is considered impolite. Respect for nature. Canadians often have a strong environmental ethos and are mindful of their impact on the environment. Concepts like recycling and conservation are widely practiced and encouraged. Political attitudes. While political leanings vary within regions, Western Canada tends to have more conservative political views compared to Eastern Canada, which can lean more liberal. Proximity to the U.S. Eastern Canada shares a border with the United States, leading to more cross-border cultural influences. In the West, the influence of the U.S. is less pronounced, and ties with Asian countries are stronger. It's important to remember that Canada is a vast and diverse country with cultural variations from region to region. While these aspects represent some general trends in Canadian culture, there can be significant differences depending on where you are in the country. They all contribute to the country's unique cultural mosaic. Embracing and appreciating this diversity can lead to a richer understanding of Canadian culture as a whole. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos on life in Canada.